Hello everyone. Today, ClassIn announced a new subscription-based model for the business plan. If you've watched my video about the three versions of ClassIn, we have the free, the pro, and the business. Both the pro and the business had a payment model where you paid one upfront fee, and then for each class, it would deduct from that payment that you made, kind of like a credit system. A lot of people did not like this method because one, it was a little confusing because you're using two different types of currency. You have to figure out how much am I really paying in US dollars. And if you teach a lot of students, that credit that you're paying, that deduction really can add up by the end of the month. So a lot of teachers really wanted a subscription based payment. I pay this amount and I get everything that's included with that version for that one amount. I don't have to deduct for each thing that I do. So they announced this just today and it is limited. So it's important that if you want to do this, that you jump on it quickly. And I can give you a 20% off code that will help save you a little bit money if you choose to do this. But first, let's take a look at the details. This was announced today and this comes directly from class in so i'm just taking what they gave us and making sure it's clear and you understand what you're getting and what you're not getting with this business version it says start date is september 6th today is september 5th i'm pretty sure you can start that immediately so if you want to do this i recommend doing it as fast as you can there is no specific end date because it's a first come first served 300 accounts so once those 300 accounts have been sold, it's not going to be available for anybody else unless they decide to expand this later on. It's for individual teachers, one teacher only, which means you cannot share this with other teachers. It's only for you. The price, you can do a six month subscription for 160 US dollars or a one year subscription for 300 US dollars but if you use the referral code that I have that I'm gonna put in the description, then you can get 20% off. I will go through the details of that at the end. This is for the business version, one teacher account. So let's take a look at the details of what you get. And a lot of these are the same as pro and same as free, but I will highlight some of the differences and those are highlighted literally in yellow for you. So class capacity, you can have 50 students per class. You get all of the same basic tools. You get all of those same teaching tools, which are these tools over here in the classroom and course management. This is where it's a little bit different. You get 200 lessons per course. As you know, if you use the free version, you have to create a new course or class every 20 lessons, which can get frustrating, especially if you teach students twice a week or more. With this, once you create a class for your student, you have 200 lessons you can add before you have to make a new class for them. I'm still working on my 200. It's gonna be a little bit of time before I reach that limit. Lesson duration, you can have class up to, I think it's lowest is 15 minutes, up to 24 hours long. I hope nobody here is teaching a 24 hour lesson. <laughs> and the audio and video online interaction, that just means these video cameras right here. So you get up to seven, which one of course is the teacher and six students. So as long as you teach six or less students at a time, I'm talking about in one class, one V6, then you have that space for those students. You might think, well, it says I can have 50 students in a class. Well, yeah, <laughs> you can have 50 students in this class, but you can only see and hear six of them at a time, which for me is plenty. I think most of us teach 1v1. Some might teach small groups. And then if we go into some more stuff. You have the task, test, and cloud drive, the dashboard management. This is what you see if you log into your account on the ClassIn website. So just like you log in on your app, you can log in on the ClassIn website and you have your dashboard. This 
Pro users might be a little familiar with the dashboard because they do have access to the dashboard, but they don't have access to all the features in the dashboard. Free users, you don't have access to any of this on the dashboard, so this will be brand new to you. I made a video about some features and some things that you can do in the dashboard to customize your classes, and I will put that in the description as well if you're interested in getting more details about what you can do there. So just a couple things that are beneficial for the business version is the batch create lessons. This is my favorite thing about business. So with free and pro, you have to individually add each lesson for your student. That can be very time consuming. I like saving time anytime I can. So with this, with most of our students, we teach them on a set schedule, like every Monday at five o'clock or every Wednesday at seven o'clock. With this, I can set, pick the student, set the date, the time, and then I can make it fill 10 classes, 20, 30, 40, I think it's up to 50. So I don't have to go in every single class and enter it manually. It does it for me. So that is an excellent time saver. Teacher management. This just means you cannot add other teachers because like I said, it's only one teacher per account. You have student management, which is some features on the dashboard, attendance and learning, customized classroom background, cloud drive, this is your storage you have, class and test, live and playback, real-time monitoring, finance details, online recording management. This is the cloud recording. So with Pro, you probably are familiar with the cloud recordings. Free, you don't have the cloud recordings. You have to manually record. You get the cloud recordings included with this plan which is great because with my business version where you pay and deduct, I have to pay for each recording that I do. With this, it's included in that one-time fee that you pay. But keep in mind, the recordings are only stored for three months, which I never keep mine for, I don't need them more than three months. But if you need them more than three months, you can download them and save them to your computer. But it only saves in class in on your dashboard for three months only. So you might be thinking, what if I already have the business version, the current model, and I like this model better? Can I switch? Yes. So if you are a class in individual teacher who purchased the business version before with the consumption model, that's the deduction, the consumption model, you can also go for the subscription campaign by paying the exact subscription amount. So that means you still have to pay the full 160 or the full 300, depending on which one you want. And then whatever you have remaining in your current balance, your current plan, we can convert it to extra months. So that means, let's say I have 1,000 RMB, whatever that translates to US dollars. I can't use that to pay for this plan. It's just extra. So I pay for this plan. Whatever I have becomes extra months. So keep that in mind if you have the current business plan. So now let's talk about that 20% off. So with the link, if you click on the link, you can get 20% off whichever plan that you choose. But it's only for this one time. If you choose to renew another six months or another year, you're not going to get that 20% off again. So I did the math for you, so you don't have to figure it out. So let's say you want to do the six months, which is the 160. How much would that be every month? If I did the math, it would be about $26.60 a month. If you get the 20% off with my code, it would bring it down to $128 that you would pay, that one-time payment, and that comes to about $21 and 30 cents a month. So it's definitely a good deal to use that 20% off. And then if you choose to renew after six months, you will go back up to the original price. If you want to do the one year, which is $300, which goes calculates to $25 a month, 
if you use the 20% off, that would be $240 that you would pay, which brings it down to $20 a month that you're actually paying, which is a pretty good deal. So if you, again, do the 20% off, if you choose to renew this plan for another year, then you would go back up to that full payment. So lots of things to keep in mind, but of course you don't have a lot of time to think about it because it is limited to those first 300 subscriptions. So in the description of this video, I'm going to put my referral link for the 20% off. I'm also going to put some links to my other YouTube videos that talk about the business plan if you want to get some more details since I didn't go into a lot of detail about all those things in the dashboard you can take a look at that as well if you have any questions about this or about the business version I will try to answer them as fast as I can if I don't know the answer myself I will try to find out the answer for you so hopefully this is some good information for you to think about and if you have any questions let me know bye everyone